What's up talkers? This is Mike from Talk.Crypto bringing you a video on how to review audits, security audits. So we're going to take a look at Pancake Bunny since this is a platform that we've been focused on reviewing in whole. And you can always go to the platform's website usually and find the security audit there. So getting to the smart contract audit report. So why do we care about reading the audit report? Isn't that for like tech people? Um, well, the reason is that as an, a potential investor where you're going to put your money, you want to know what are the potential exploits, vulnerabilities, hacks, and so forth that could potentially affect the success of this platform or you as the user. Um, sometimes there's also stuff for people that are building on top of this platform and you can see this audit is done by Heichi Audit so you can always go find them on Twitter and see what other projects they've reviewed. Okay, so let's go into this. Leading SmartTracks security audit and development firm operated by HE Labs. Our clients have been successfully lift, listed on the global cryptocurrency exchanges such as Huobi, Upbit, OKEx, and others. We have been incubated by Samsung Electronics. I see that to be noteworthy and awarded the Ethereum Foundation Grants and Ethereum Community Fund. Okay, um, to me those are notable things and I do give some credit, uh, some credibility to Heichi for having accomplished these things. I think those are great things um, to see in an auditor. Pretty much every audit report you're going to see, they're gonna have critical, major, minor, and tips. So tips is how to improve performance, things like that. So let's scroll down. Okay, so this is important to know here. Sometimes there's stuff in the audit where there's um, an intended behavior by the developer and sometimes you'll see comments. Uh, I don't see this one. Non-audited changeable external contract. Perhaps investigate that a little bit more. So you can see here the contracts that are subject to audit. So keep in mind that when you view a security audit, it might not include all of the smart contracts. Next is gonna be roles. The smart contract has the following authorizations. So these are the functions that the Pancake Bunny platform can do. It can own the token, it can mint, keep, and then also reward and distribute those rewards. The features accessible by each level of authorization is as follows. So Bunny token can mint, Vault flip to cake has these functions. That is under owner. Okay, non-audited changeable external contract. Hitchy has found that Pancake Bunny protocol uses strategy helper contract in several parts for getting TVL APY. Although this helper is used to get data, not writing data is much safer. This helper can be changed by the owner and this can lead to price manipulation. So basically the um, helper can show a different price on the website than is actually on the exchange. Ultimately, this is just something that requires trust. You can always go to CoinGecko if you wanna check the price. I don't really see this as a big issue for me. These few functions which depend on helper contracts are weak to flash loan attacks. We will cover flash loan attacks in another video. Um, do not trust these functions as a price table when building on top of this protocol. So it's basically just saying that, you know, don't trust the price that you see on the platform. Go to CoinGecko or an exchange like PancakeSwap to check this price. If you're an end user, this issue will not expose much is issue security risk to you. But if you build something on top of this code, be aware of the above issue. Great stuff. I am liking this audit report. Okay, minor issue. So here's the problem statement for this minor issue. Okay, so quite simply, this function does not check if the one that's signing it is the delegator. So essentially with this, someone else's voting power can be delegated instead of the delegator. Um, and this could cause issues with governance. 
So what is a recommendation? A very simple solution here. We just have to check if um, you know this is the delegator that is uh, doing this signing. So not too bad. This issue has been found on most well-known governance tokens since these delicate parts are copy and pasted which results in almost the same code being used over and over again. Although this looks very malicious, it is nearly impossible to find that will result in making another user with voting power to delegate instead of the actual signer. So they're saying that these two values here, this nonce and this expiry, are really difficult to find and so therefore it would be difficult for the wrong person uh, to sign this. But it, it's great to see this level of depth in these security audits. If you're an end user, this issue will not expose much issue, issue security risk to you. If you're going to build on top of this code, again, some kind of reward system, be aware that this won't guarantee the signature is valid. Next one. And of course, we can go through this second one as well. Bunny pool vault flip can decrease reward rate. So it's just a warning here to say that um, the reward rate can be decreased in the code and update. Pancake Bunny team has confirmed that this is a intended behavior. So essentially the admin can decrease the reward rate, which is interesting and worth noting. So that's the end of the security audit. Um, hopefully you guys got some ideas on how to effectively review security audits from this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for future videos and hit that bell to get notifications when we drop the next one. If you guys have any further questions, you can always reach out to us on Discord and be sure to join our stereo show on Monday, Wednesday, Friday for listener Q&A. And with that, we will see you in the next one. Okay, so this is the Pancake Bunny store. I didn't even know that that existed. Now I know. <laughs>